In this video, we will walk through brake pad replacement on bicycle rim brake systems. Brake pad replacement is part of our video series, The Park Tool Guide to Rim Brakes. Watch this video to see how we've organized the content in the series. Otherwise, let's begin. We'll help you identify what type of pad system is on your bike. Then we'll walk you through the replacement process. After that, we'll forward you to another video to help make some final adjustments so your brakes reach optimal performance. Let's get started. Typical tools include hex wrenches for brake pad adjustment and caliper mounting, box and wrenches for pad adjustment, and needle nose pliers. Now, pads come in all different shapes and sizes, but there are three basic rim brake pad systems, road, threaded stud, and smooth stud. We'll show you how to identify which system you have, and then you can skip to the process that matches. In the smooth stud system, the post extends from the pad and is pinched by a mechanism in the caliper arm. There are no threads on the post. The road brake system and the threaded stud system look similar. They are both fastened to the caliper arm at the end of the stud. The best way to differentiate between the road pads and the threaded stud pads is that the threaded stud pads have a series of two convex and two concave spacers. A road brake pad will have a thin washer and maybe even a spacer, but it lacks the pairing of the two convex and two concave spacers. All three of these systems come in either a one piece where the pad is fixed to the stud or cartridge style where the pad slides in and out. If a bike shop or retailer doesn't carry the exact pad that matches your cartridge system, it's fine to replace it with a one piece pad or cartridge style pad unit. Now let's walk through the process for each system. Go ahead and skip to the portion of this video that's relevant to you. We'll start with the road brake pad system and walk through the process for replacing the entire pad unit. This process is often easier without the wheel. Loosen the pad fastener and remove the pad from the arm. Inspect the new pads for any forward arrows and left and right side markings. If there is a closed side to the holder and an open side, the closed side always goes to the front. Install the pads accordingly. If you are replacing only pad material on cartridge style pads, Remove the retention screw or clip and pull the pad backward to slide it out. Inspect the new pads. There will be a groove in the back of the pad to accept the retention screw or clip. Push the new pad fully into place and install the retention screw or clip. Repeat the process on the other side. This concludes the process for replacing the pads on a road bike, but you will need to make additional adjustments to make the brake function properly. Depending on what type of caliper you're working with, we have these videos and corresponding start times to help you make the final adjustments. Now we'll walk through the threaded stud pad replacement and show you the process for replacing the entire pad unit first. But before we begin, we need to understand spacer selection. On this other bike, we have a caliper arm with correct and incorrect spacer selection. These wide and narrow set of spacers help position the caliper arm as the pads strike the rim. Ideally, we want the caliper arm close to vertical as the pad strikes the rim. On the rider's left, we can see this wide spacer is inside and this caliper arm is angled outward. For this bike, we'd want our narrow spacer inboard. Back on our example bike, we can see a slight angle inward. Installing a new pad with more material will bring this line closer to vertical. So we'll plan to keep the same spacer orientation. We'll remove the wheel just to get it out of the way and we'll begin by removing the mounting nut, spacers, and brake pad from the caliper arm. Again, 
pay attention to the spacer orientation as they come off. Inspect the new pads for any directional arrows indicating which side to install the new pad. If there is a closed side to the holder and an open side, the closed side always goes to the front. Install the new pad with attention to the spacer orientation. Repeat the process on the second pad. If you are replacing only pad material on cartridge style pads, remove the retention screw or clip and pull the pad backward to slide it out. Inspect the new pads and look for the curve of the pad. The curve should match the curve of the rim. There will be a groove in the back of the pad to accept the retention clip. Push the pad fully into place and install the retention clip. This concludes the process for replacing the pads with threaded studs, but you will need to make additional adjustments to make the brake function properly. Depending on what type of caliper you're working with, we have these videos and the corresponding start times to help make the final adjustments. Now we'll focus on smooth stud brake pad replacement. First, we'll walk through the process for replacing the entire pad unit. This process is often easier without the wheel. Inspect the caliper arm and brake stud, making note of spacer orientation. There is often convex and concave washers that permit pad alignment and they need to be reinstalled correctly. Using a hex wrench to hold the bolt head, loosen the mounting nut with the wrench and wiggle free the stud. Note any forward arrow indicating which side to install the new pad. If there is a closed side to the holder, and an open side, the closed side always goes to the front. Slide the new pad into place. Repeat the process on the second pad. To replace only the pad material with cartridge style pads, begin by looking for a retention clip or screw on the back of the pad and remove it. Pull the pad backward to slide it out of the cartridge holder. Inspect the new pads and look for a groove at the back of the pad to accept the retention clip. Push the pad fully into place and install the clip. This concludes the process for smooth stud brake pad replacement, but you will need to make additional adjustments to make the brake function properly. For smooth stud brake pads, watch this video at the appropriate start times to help with the final adjustments. Thanks for watching our rim brake pad replacement video. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to watch this video to see how we've organized the Park Tool Guide to Rim Brakes. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for the latest videos from Park Tool.